How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a anime unboxing. It's actually going to be part one of a uh, new collection uh, for a certain series. And first off, thank you guys very much. Uh, we reached 600 subscribers. Uh, I think it's like 605 or, or 6 right now. Uh, but thank you guys very much. Uh, this is just fun. I just enjoy making all these, all, all this content for you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Comments are cool. Uh, you know, the, the feedback I get is, re is really awesome. Very knowledgeable. I try to respond, you know, as best I can. Sometimes I do repeat myself actually a lot. <laughs> all right, kind of the same things. Uh, but uh, you guys really make this fun, and I'm going to continue to make, uh, you know, some content. And uh, also, I'm trying to think of what to do. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe streaming a, uh, a game. I'm just not sure because uh, we have quite a few uh, games like we did get a uh, uh, You know Kakarot that came out. Uh, we're waiting on some other ones. I got delayed later on this year uh, We have a bunch of other games that I could possibly stream or uh, maybe do like a Q&A so if you guys want to ask some questions, maybe I'll uh, uh, You know write them down and maybe answer them later in that uh, so not quite sure uh, feel free to let me know what you guys think I should do. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe a game and then maybe just have you guys join in and hang out. So, uh, yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and get started with part one of our Ghost in the Shell anime collection. So, this is probably going to be about four parts. Uh, so, we're going to start out with Standalone Complex uh, Season 1 because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit season two in this video because there's quite a few uh, volumes so first up we have the now I got this uh, second hand this is the Bandai uh, yes this was a Bandai release excuse me this is an old tin box set now this came with volume seven I think which is the last volume in the series and there you see, uh, uh, it's like a, um, uh, is it embossed? Or, uh, there's another word for it where it's, it's, yeah, embossed, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, there you see the, uh, Tachikoma, which is like these, these robots that they ride around in. Uh, especially Bato, he has one that he particularly uses. There's the title right there, Standalone Complex. Ghost in the Shell. Now, this one is kind of beat up, but, uh, you know, found it used. There's, uh, Bandai which makes this highly out of print. And here is the infamous, uh, from, at least from season one, the Laughing Man symbol. So it says, I thought what I'd do was I'd pretend I was one of those deaf mutes. And it just kind of, what it does, it, it like goes around the, the head and it looks like the uh, head's like wearing like a cap or something. And uh, yeah, the Laughing Man was a pretty big arc for uh, season one, and then uh, for season two, there's also like another one. Uh, they kind of have like their uh, overarching uh, stories. And here is the bottom. And there you see the major and the Tachikoma. And here's the top. And here is the back. So this I just happened to find used, and it uh, it came with all of the show because you could fit all of them in here, and uh, which is really cool. And uh, they were kind of pricey, but I did uh, eventually wait and got it later, so for a little bit cheaper. And here is like the episode. So this is like the end of it, and these are the specs. Now these are the special edition disc, every single one, and what that is is you get. Um, so you have the regular disc with Dolby Digital, anamorphic widescreen, all that stuff. And the other one is a DTS 5.1 audio. So it's supposed to be like more, like more pristine, more louder, more clearer in a way. And uh, yeah, and uh, you know, you can tell the difference, you know, maybe depending on like your player, your setup, but yeah. And either way, they both look good. Uh, quality is, very very well done here are some screenshots and the extra so you get an interview with uh, Kenji uh, Kamiyama director 
Uh, you're supposed to get a Laughing Man t-shirt, but of course that wasn't in here. Uh, but I did get the uh, Touch Coma ID card. And there you see Shadow of the Major. And they all just fit in here, just like that. So let's put this off to the side. And let's go ahead and show the disc. Now, um, all the covers were flipped around. They do have other, uh, like they're all reversible. So here is volume one. And how you can tell it's a special edition is mostly looking on the back. Here's the uh, story details here. So you pretty much follow uh, Matoto, or, or excuse me, Matoko uh, Kusanagi, who is the major. You follow uh, some of her comrades. One in particular is named Bato. He's got like these these things on his eyes, I guess, because um, there's a big thing with cybernetics. Uh, and uh, there you see uh, Tosaka. Um, yeah, there's Bato right there. And you pretty much just follow them as uh, they're part of a team uh, called. Uh, from a group called Section 9, and they specialize in, like, you know, cyber crimes and stuff like that, uh, dealing with other, like, cyborgs and all different kinds of cases, political stuff, and it's actually really, really good. This show played on Toonami all the time. Uh, this is a really big show when it came out. And here are the discs. So there's disc one. And here is the uh, DTS Special Edition Disc. And they each uh, come with a booklet. I'll just show the first one here. And here's the back. And yeah, this show was on all the time and for a really good reason. It was very, very well done. Uh, action is really good. Uh, this is a very dialogue heavy show also. You know, you have a lot of political stuff. There's, um, you know, there, there's espionage, there's drama, there's thrills. You have comedy, action, thrills, or I think I just said thrills twice. <laughs> but, uh, you get quite a bit with this show and, it, and it's just great. And here is volume two. Now you will notice that this case is clear. You might encounter that if you try and get, um, you know, uh, whether it's anime or like a regular movie secondhand. Sometimes you find them in like a clear case. Uh, so just kind of be aware of that. But you always want to check it, you know, just to make sure it's, you know, cool and legit. Because sometimes there are some, you know, fake ones out there. And here are all the episodes here. Any extras on each disc? Uh, most of them are like interviews and uh, things like that, but it's pretty cool. And there's this one and this two with the uh, DTS. I'll, give you, I'll show you guys an example. So like right there, reversible cover which just has a title and then the volume number, but they're all turned to where you just have like the picture, which is really cool. I actually prefer that better. And standalone complex, uh, so it has a total of two seasons. There are a, now I wanna say it's a movie, you have a, uh, what is it? Solid State Society or like a special. Uh, you also have, uh, there are these two releases for The Laughing Man and Individual Eleven, which is a big arc for uh, second gig, second season. And those have DVD releases and Blu-ray releases, but I think the Blu-rays are long out of print, uh, considering this was, a uh, you know, Bandai. Uh, you know, and then when that stopped... You know, unfortunately, a lot of that stuff went out of print and can be very expensive to find. So just be aware of that. Along with, uh, you know, second gig as well, also went out of print. But luckily, they did get re-releases. Excuse me, re-releases, which is really cool. Uh, definitely well-deserved. Uh, this show is just amazing. 
and let it clear. Now you also might encounter these where uh, it's pretty much the same thing where they have like a black sleeve on them and it has like a you know like a almost like a locker kind of look and you see the major and backs the back is just normal um and ah so here we go <clears throat> So this has a card with Motoko Kusanagi. Really cool, Section 9. And I believe these are the exact replicas of their, uh, like their ID cards in the show. Which is really cool. Very nice. Um, and the Tachikoma, it, it, it's later. So, here are the discs. So they did get re-releases, and as far as I know, they are only on Blu-ray. Uh, and quality I hear of that is really good. I did hear something about the subtitles randomly changing from, uh, what was it, I think English to Japanese when you're watching the dub. Maybe it's because of like certain words or certain things they were saying. Um, but it uh, doesn't really sound like an issue very much. just sounds like it was... Just something kind of odd. <laughs> but other than that, uh, I hear quality is really good. So maybe I'll upgrade uh, to those eventually. I actually did find a second gig recently, second hand, for uh, pretty cheap. So I might go back uh, to the place I went to, see if they still have it. So, because I was kind of surprised. I found that in Gundam 0083. Like, what? <laughs> it found them used. Uh, but, yeah. Both on Blu-ray. So, yeah, these are uh, still, a bit, or st excuse me, still available. As far as I know, the Blu-rays still are. Um, these DVDs, you can find them secondhand a lot. Uh, considering, you know, there's quite a few for both seasons. Uh, it is seven volumes long for uh, season one and uh, second gig. And there are other different special editions. So, like, the ones with these sleeves on them, like, there are other box sets that came with, like, a certain volume. It would have just one, and, you, and then you could fit others. And they came with, like, a, like another shirt or, uh, I think, like, a badge or something. So, there's many different editions. And here is volume six. Another really cool picture. And uh, also what's really good about this show, the voice acting, it is very, very well done. Um, the, the English cast just did an amazing job with this. Uh, I love the voice of the Major. She's really cool. Uh, you, know, it, you know, she sounds like, you know, she can be really tough when she needs to be. And then all of a sudden just be really calm, cool, and collected. Uh, you have Bato, who could be like the brash brute. Kind of, but then again, you know, he's actually kind of funny. <laughs> uh, you also have other teammates. There's like a sniper. There's like an intelligence dude. The sniper has like a cybernetic eye that he uses. <laughs> it is really cool. And then, of course, you have the leader. He's like this older guy. Uh, and they all like communicate kind of uh, like they have like, I think, something implanted. So it's like they're inner monologuing, but they're actually communicating <laughs> to each other. Here's another card. This is uh, Togusa. And he is referred to as, like, the most human out of all of them. Um, as far as, like, you know, not really having any cybernetic prosthetics uh, or prosthetics. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's like the younger guy. But he knows what he's doing. He is really cool. So there's volume six. And last up, we have volume seven. And there you see the major and the Tachikoma. They they do talk. Uh, these uh, like almost like uh, they're like spider tanks pretty much. And the uh, pilots can go into the back part here, and they have like you know missile launcher, uh, machine guns. Uh, I think they have like targeting scopes, and and these things are like search eyes. It's really cool the way they're uh, designed, and they all talk. They have kind of like a high-pitched voice, like they're almost like they're kids, <laughs> like just hanging out and, and stuff. 
And overall, the story uh, was just very well done. Uh, like I said, it is very dialogue heavy. Um, and when there is action, it is very well done. Very good. You know, definitely a lot of drama, a lot of uh, like investigative type things. You know, because you're following them trying to solve the mystery. Like, what is going on? <laughs> And the world they're in is, you know, very futuristic. You know, you have cyborgs everywhere. You have uh, people getting mind wiped, or I think it's called white out, where they're like their mind, their memories are erased. And, you know, they're trying to figure out who they are, or they get implanted things that they're not. It's really, really out there. And here is the Tachikoma section nine. And here you see uh, all these. Stats are unknown. There's also a thing with like cybernetic brains, uh, where like people's brains I think get implanted into machines or something. Like there's something, you know, the big theme is, or, or excuse me, big theme in a way. It's like from the the um, the first film. Excuse me, you know, what is a ghost? Like, is there? A presence in the machine like in the shell like is there something still there you know or is it just a cyborg or a robot just walking around you know there's a lot of different kind of philosophy and things like that but very well done in this show and here is Ghost in the Shell and I'm gonna turn these off to the side and here they are all seven volumes so these DVDs, yeah, you might be able to find them um, for pretty cheap uh, in like other stores. Um, probably mostly online, if I had to guess, uh, to be honest. And uh, But overall, still pretty good. And uh, yeah, if you can find them for pretty cheap, I'd say pick them up. It is very, very well worth it. And let's go ahead and display these. And I might have to tilt that a bit. Yeah, it's gonna look weird. <laughs> uh, now nah, I'll just leave it like that. All right. And there they are. So that does it for part one of our Ghost in the Shell anime collection. Uh, and uh, just a really, really awesome show. And when this premiered on Toonami, it was because I want to say they played the, the original film quite a bit. Um, and then when the show was being announced, like, oh, there's a show now. And it played all the time, uh, especially when Toonami was being moved around, like all the time changes, all the different shows are coming in. Um, you know, you know, you had Adult Swim start. This show was usually on there uh, both seasons. And uh, I believe they played, you know, Solid State Society, Laughing Man, Ark, and, you know, Individual Eleven and all that stuff. And well worth it. Watched it pretty much every time it was on. And uh, just an overall really good show. Comedy is great. Action is good. Story, amazing. And, uh, yeah, just a really incredible show. So like the video if you do. Subscribe if you like. And thank you guys very much for 600 subscribers once again. You guys are awesome. You guys make this really fun. And have you guys seen Ghost in the Shell at all? Just, uh, you know, whether it be the original film, uh, the OVA, the Rise series that came out, the new movie, the live action film, uh, you know, Standalone Complex Season 1 or 2. Have you seen any of it? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.